much. Matt Carsandu reporting for MMA Plus. Uh, and I'm standing alongside Cyril Diabate, who is taking on Elia Latifi this uh, Saturday night at UFC London. Well, let's get to, to your fight this week now. Now, going back, the last time we saw you in the uh, in the Octagon was um, roughly over a year ago when you actually took on Jimmy Manuel. Things didn't turn out for you, um, you know, well on that occasion. Can you just first of all catch us up? What's been going on in your life in this past year? Well, first of all, I had to, to recover from the from the injury. Um, I um, had a partial tear of the Achilles tendon, uh, warming up for, for the fight in the locker room, and then uh, f in the first round, uh, first minute or second minute of the of the round, um, I tore my calf muscle. Um, so it was a. It was a long time being out, uh, uh, nearly a month without being able to, to walk and then uh, rehabbing for five months and uh, not being able to train for, for, for eight months, uh, you know, after, after the injury. So it was a long time. It took, um, it took time, you know, it took uh, dedication to, to, to get back to the, to, to the gym and train properly. But uh, I got to that point and I've uh, been uh, training uh, ever since. Has this been the most difficult injury for you to get over, or have you had more severe ones, or is this the most severe? No, that was definitely uh, the, the the toughest, uh, toughest because it was the the longest. You know, it it, it kept me out for for eight eight months, and uh, when you're a professional athlete, um, you know it, it's 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 hard on you. It's you just got to um, keep focused and keep your your goals in in mind and. Uh, and uh, go, uh, you know, grit your your teeth through it. So it's a hard moment to to go through. Well, now that you've been through all that, the whole process, does it does it feel good to finally be back and be able to perform in the octagon? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I, I I'm going to show you know that I'm 100% uh, healthy and I'm uh, at the, the top of my uh, the top of my performance on on Saturday, and that's what I'm looking forward to do. When did the UFC approach you uh, about Elia Latifi? When did this fight get made, and what do you think about your your opponent? Um, I think I got the call in December, so uh, you know I've had uh, time to uh, I've had time to get ready, plenty of time. Um, Eli is definitely a tough opponent. He showed that against uh, Musashi uh, with uh, four days' notice. So um, I'm looking uh, at an opponent that's definitely got a um, dangerous uh, set of tools in his uh, wrestling uh, um, abilities. He's a top-notch uh, wrestler, uh, powerful, stocky guy. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, a tough fight. It's not going to be an easy fight. Okay. Well, you know, a year is a long time in MMA, and things have changed so much in the UFC since you last competed here. Um, does it feel different? I mean, things are so much bigger here for this fight card in London compared to other fight cards in the UK in the past. Does it for you as an outsider coming in from from from, from France and from Paris? Does it feel like things are just bigger here in the UK? There's a lot of more, a lot more momentum here for the UFC in the UK specifically. Uh, to be honest, I'm, when, when I come to fight, I'm, I'm concentrated in, in, in a, and I stay uh, in my hotel room and, uh, and the gym for the whole stay I'm here. So I don't really see, you know, I don't get to see any of that. I just try and stay focused on uh, what's ahead and, uh, and keep uh, the concentration up. So I don't actually see the differences. But, um, you know, after when I go back home, yeah, I, I get to see all the all the interviews and all the um, the, the press and uh, yeah so it's usually after the fights that okay. I, I see that. All right. Well, look, you know, you're 40 years old. You've been, you know, competing for a very, very long time in various forms of combat sports. How how much longer do you actually want to do this for? Do you think? Um, it's probably going to be my last fight. Um, I. Uh, I've been uh, having problems with motivation for the, for, for the last uh, couple of years. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just uh, after a while, you know, I've been competing 22 years of combat sports um, and the, the, the hardest part of it is uh, keeping the motivation up. You've got to be 100% uh, in, the, in the gym every day uh, to, uh, to train to be that, at that level. Um, the motivation was here this time because of uh, what happened last time, well, because of the injury and, uh, and how, I w how it went down. Um, I'm not sure of, of keeping that motivation up uh, uh, for a next fight, so I'm going to probably call it quits after this. Wow, this is, uh, this is breaking news. What seems to be the lack of motivation here? Why did you make this decision? What, what isn't motivating you to carry on fighting? 22 years. <laughs> yeah. 22 years of fighting. Yeah. So. Uh, 
it's just um, it's after a while, you know, the 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 the, um, the, the burden it is of, of being a pro professional athlete, um, the sacrifices, um, the lifestyle um, is is just too much for 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 uh, you know it's just out balancing all the rest you know it's uh, I've got a family I've got uh, uh, bills to pay I'm not uh, you know I'm not a millionaire so uh, you know after a while you, you're 40 years old you, you get to think of, uh, of, of these things uh, daily and um, of course if you've not got a hundred percent motivation in you it's it's hard to go into that gym every day and work your ass your ass off so after a while, you got to uh, ask yourself the right questions. You know, uh, again, this this fight was uh, I felt motivated from uh, from day one as soon as I got the f the, the the call, just because um, of you know what, what how it ended la the last time. Um, I really wanted to to show a better performance and uh, and uh, to to end my career in a in a in a good fashion. Uh, so that's what brought me back, actually. So could this be maybe, in a, in a weird way, the most dangerous serial Diabate will ever see? Because you're going to go in there, you want to go in on a high, you want to go in with a win, and I'm assuming you want to go and you know go out with, you know with a knockout here. I would definitely want to go out with a with a knockout, um, uh, do a, the best performance I can, and leave uh, the fans with a with a good image of a, of a, of the snake. That's it. Wow. Well, um, on a final note, um, we've been asking all the fighters and all the members of the media and the fans this week um, their predictions for the for the main card. And I can't think of a better person to ask uh, about Jimmy Manuel's chances of, of defeating Alexander Gustafsson than yourself, um, obviously having been in the cage with him. So, so what is your prediction for Saturday night and how do you think Jimmy will perform against Alex? Um, I think Alex has got... Um is more varied as a as a fighter. He's got that 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 reach, and he's uh, he uses it uh, very well. He moves around a lot. Um, he's definitely got a, a more varied uh, skill set. Um, whereas uh, Jimmy is more of a striker that relies on that on that power. Uh, so I, I think uh, Gustafsson's got more chances of winning the fight than uh, than Jimmy. Not counting out uh, Jimmy's uh, one punch uh, knockout power. So. Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe 60-40% chances of uh, Gustafsson uh, winning this fight. Okay, but you definitely think that Jimmy's got a chance there. Oh yeah, he's got a uh, punches. Punches always have a chance, you know. Yeah. Just one punch connects, and that's it. Yeah. So uh, um, Jimmy definitely has that 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 kind of power. Um, I do, I just don't think uh, Gustafsson is going to let him use it. Okay, well, well, thank you for that. Well, on behalf of all um, MMA fans, MMA media, combat fan, combat fight fans, and combat fight media, um, thank you very much for your time over the last 20 plus years um, performing in various forms of combat sports, and wish you the best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, everyone.